Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of The Hunt here on Borderlands the pre-sequel actually, uh, I meant to say Borderlands Universe right there so today we are back for another episode, I think this is episode 14 actually um, and I said at the end of the last yeah. one um, that we was going to start doing um, a little search every time we uh, start and maybe end an episode uh, for the four uniques that have just uh, been released uh, from they're available from any random loot source and I think the best way to get some of them is just to check the vending machines uh, at the start of every episode at least maybe at the end depending on how well the episode went um, so that is the boomer corner jacko cannon the machine sniper and the old painful so I'm just gonna have a look through all of the weapons vendors uh, right now and then we'll head off and uh, grab some loot from there uh, grab some uh, some proper loot from farming uh, and I believe I said it in, uh, in well in the last episode what we were going to be going after which was the veins of Helios we're going to be going after Laszlo, Claplek and Egghood see if we can get some good drops off them so let's see if I can remember every single vending machine for weapons I believe the next one is at Outlands Spur no I'm for Titan Robot Production Plant is where I meant to go with that damn it I suppose there's no harm in checking all the vending machines anyway because you never know when there's going to be a legendary in there so yeah I think we'll go for a full vendor farm actually as you saw in the last episode if you watched it if you haven't watched it yet go back and watch it spoilers coming up but um, yeah, in the end of the last episode uh, sorry the start of the last episode we spawned into Triton Flats randomly turned around checked a vending machine and uh, there was a supernova just sat looking at us so uh, yeah definitely one of them things where uh, where it's good to check every single vending machine you can I'm not going to go for all of them here I've just remembered as well I am rendering at the minute and I need to turn that off very quickly because that's why we're getting a tiny bit of lag damn it completely forgot to do that come on load in load in yep that's definitely why the loading times are affected as well right let's bring that up let's pause that rendering pause there we go right that should be a lot better now plus a bit of strain on the computer when you're heavily rendering right nothing there now watch the difference here watch the difference there you go that was not long at all okay so we've been to Outland Spur there's nothing in Outlands Canyon Pity's Fall next for three vending machines at the start and yeah I know this is a bit grindy but it's just the same as like what we're doing with the uh, uh, the Decobra in Borderlands 2 where we'll spend an epi every episode just tiny amount of the episode 10-15 minutes maybe max just farming for that cobra and it just stops me having to do full-on episodes after episode after episode of just farming the pure beatdown runs and that, that gets boring so it's good to split it up do a little bit at a time so that's what we're going to do with these hopefully we'll get ourselves one today you don't know but uh they're not the easiest things not going to be the easiest things to find but they're not going to be the hardest it's just a case of actually uh, getting lucky and coming across one in the grinder or by a vending machine or any random loop source think it can drop from so we'll go for one of them plus like I said there might be legendaries in here that we can either farm but hopefully the legendaries that we find in here are going to be the ones that we actually um, can only get from the grinder so that will save us a lot of grinding time because I don't like using the grinder all the time nope nothing there let's head back then research and development there is a health and a grenade here so we won't get any of the new ones but there might be a legendary grenade in here or a class mod but there's not oh why did I come here 
come on, Messiah, you know there's nothing here. I'm not running for the vending machines here. Right, Virago Solitude, there should be something good here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. Uh, there's two at Tycho's Ribs, three at Ellis here, and I'm not sure about the DLC. I know Deck 13 and a half's got two. I think there's two. I'm going to have no luck here at all, are we? Like I said, if we have a good start to the episode, um, or, well, we have a good episode, then uh, I can come back and do this at the end as well. I'm aiming for the freeze easy today and one legendary drop. Really hope we can get. I won't mind the blowfly, to be honest. But we'll see. Beggars can't be choosers. We'll take what we can happily. I'm not looking forward to farming Clatlet because he's a bit of a tough son of a biatch. Guess who's back from hunting vaults on other planets? This is. And I'm, I'm gonna Flying Fox, eh? Sounds like a good uh, weapon. Hunt the vault it's probably by Gupta. Turd, and then she's like, don't kill the other vault hunters. Bring back the one chick you found. War is coming. Right. I don't know what vending machines are at the other parts. Because I haven't farmed them for a long time. What am I doing? Oh, there is three here. Guns, glorious guns. Rat a tat. No. Yes. There you go guys, there you go, and that is quite a hard one to actually find. I think in the whole thousand plus hours I've played this game, apart from when I've been grinding, I've never seen a Carla, never ever seen a Carla, and you can't farm it from any loot source. So, I'm happy at that. That is our first leg. Wow, we're doing so well with the legendaries in vending machines. And I don't believe that's on the list, because... You can't farm it, and I got this list as a, a, a farming thing, but you can technically farm it from the grinder. So, I'm going to add this to the list, and I'm then I'm going to tick it off straight away. Let's buy it. Boom. There we go, guys. So, we have got ourselves our first legendary. I'm very happy at that. I'm going to go to the other ones, um, and just see if there's anything there. But, that is what I call an awesome... Start, and I am happy with that. Even if we don't find any of the uh, the uniques now, I'm very happy at that. Right, let's keep the momentum going. I don't know if there is anything at Cluster Pandora. No, I don't think there is any vending machines at these two. We'll check them anyway for reference for the future. But no, there isn't. No, no vending machines is there here. I think it's the same with Cluster Overlook as well, so we won't go there. Subconscious. I think there is vending machines at Subconscious, actually. Well, that's that. I'm sure it wasn't important. Friends always look out for one another. Yeah, they are the rear. No, right, okay then, let's get going. So, let's start our farm today. So, we've got a, quite a uh, a successful start, actually. I was going to say, while we're here, should we go do the power suit dude? But uh, we've already crossed him off the list, so. I think. Yes, we have. We spent that episode after. Meg actually uh, here because it took us quite a long time to get it. So I'm going to the ha veins of Helios the back way because it's quicker to uh, to actually get to them. This is quite a long run actually, so it might take us a while. Um, we man thing, but as long as we've got, our, like, like I said, I, I aim for. I won't mind a legendary and a unique per episode. Um, I just aim for one drop per episode to be honest. But if I can get a uh, a legendary and a unique at this stage. I'll be very happy with that. So we've already got our uh, we've already got our legendary today. So if we can just get that freeze easy from Laszlo, I'll be pretty happy with that. Actually, don't want to cross too many things off the list too quickly, but we don't want to be stuck with nothing. 
So yeah, if we can get that freeze easy from Laszlo, I'll be I'll be uh, pretty happy with that. Well, let's see if I can remember the route. I think you just drop down here, and it just shoots you straight over. And then if we go the quick way, we don't have to go through there. If we go down here, it should pop us right out at Claplek and near Laszlo. I can't remember which one comes first. I think this is the best route to take anyway. Could probably do with a bit of ammo, I have to keep topping up on ammo every time we come past here. Especially if we can't hurt the flatlet with the Vitali. We might have to uh, pull out the T4SRs, but limited ammo there. Right, let's see, I'm sure Laszlo should pop out right in front of us actually. Sure of it. Oh no, it's Claplet. And Laszlo. I don't know. Well, let's get that razor and the ballast board out. And then use Tombstone on this guy. Oh, it's going down okay. It's not too bad. Is that Laszlo? No. Where is Laszlo then? Well, we've got no Eddie. Take that guy down just to keep the tombstone up in case that is Laszlo right in front of us here. It is, right. Let's capitalise on this then. Come on, drop your freeze easy pretty easily. There we go. You guys can help me. Laszlo's pretty tough actually. Pretty tough indeed. He needs a lot of ammo. I thought Claplet was going to be the hard one. <coughs> no freeze easy, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and head to Egg Hood. See if we can get the blowfly off him. That was pretty, pretty successful actually. I'm quite happy that Claplet went down uh, quite easily. It's all about that tombstone on Nisha though. If you can get tombstone activated, you're pretty set. Well, there we go. I just want a bit of uh, ammo actually, but. I think there's plenty of ammo crates around here. Right, Eggwood has spawned. Oh, don't fall there, you idiot. Where are you? There you are. Let's go straight to your head. Look at that for aim. Fire machine. Unfortunately, we can't get tombstone. There's no enemies spawn around him, but he's not too bad at all. Running around screaming. Ow. Okay. Enemy juice bomb. That's fair enough then. That makes my job easier. Here we go then. Down you go, we're good. Blow fly. No blow fly. Well, we're only on the first run, so uh, that's understandable. Right, it's going to take a little bit of a while, but I just want to pick up ammo now because. We haven't got a lot. Well, we have actually. It's not too bad ammo-wise, but if we can keep topped up on it, it won't be a massive problem because Laszlo takes a lot. But I might pull the T4SRs out on Laszlo actually. That should rip through him a bit easier. Right, that's good. I'm happy with that. Got a bit of a job at some point as well now to add. Uh, a load more legendaries to the list. Seeing as though we will be farming, I think we will be farming. Yeah, we we can read only grinder farm. Um, that'll make it a lot easier as well. Obviously, if I get something that I haven't got before, I'll uncheck the read only, and then uh, and then we can add that to the list. I'm not going to uh, cheat and just get everything read only and uh, restart. I've got to. If I get a drop on the grinder, I've got to uncheck read only. Go out and get some more legendaries and do it again. So uh, we can definitely do that. Okay. Let's see if we can get any more success then. Like I said, be happy with that freeze easy from Laszlo. But if we can get any of the legendaries, that'll make it a lot easier. I'm not greedy. I'll take one or two. Right. There's Laszlo now. I think he's fighting Claplek. Yes, 
he is. But I could do with some tombstone up there. Right, T for myself. There's the last load down. Let's get the fat load down while we're here. There we go. Happy at that. No eddy. No freezies. That's a shame. I'm not going to bother fighting any of these guys. Save my ammo and just head straight for Egg Hood. And this time I'm going to get them enemies to spawn before I start shooting. Right, how'd you get them to spawn? Came over here last time. I think they just spawn after all. A certain amount of time. Right, let's get a grenade down on the little man and he gets it. I don't think we're gonna. Slowly chipping away at him, but. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We've got the blowfly. We've got the blowfly. In two runs. What a legend you are, Egghood. When I'm farming multiple enemies as well, and the furthest away one drops it first. That makes me happy. Because now I only have to get as far as Lazlo and Clapleck. Happy at that. Very happy at that actually. Let's go ahead and pick it up then. So there you go guys. Level 70 Blowfly. Just like that. As easy as the second run. Boom. Let's pick that up and tick that off the list right now. So let's get this ammo. And uh, yeah, we might have a super short episode uh, today then. Go do a couple more runs of these guys. If I didn't get that Carla at the start of the uh, at the start of the uh, episode, then I might have been a bit more uh, bit more willing to farm for longer. But these episodes are half an hour long, quite a lot of the time. So. I might just uh, make a shorter one. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to do two more runs of Claplek and Laszlo. And then I'm going to do, if, we, if they don't drop anything, I'm going to do a full vendor farm again. See if we can get any of the new uniques. And uh, if not, then that will be the end of the episode. Really happy. I can't believe we got the blowfly in two runs. I was not expecting that at all. These things happen sometimes though, and I don't complain when they do. I love no atmosphere as well, you don't have to pick the ammo up, it just flies out at you. Beautiful stuff. Well, may as well get the uh, T4 babies out. They're fighting again already. Right, can I have a volunteer? Any volunteer? Where are your mates? They're there. Close the guy. There we go. Switch to these. You go down. I'm running, but oh, I hate you when he jumps. Nothing from Clapleck. Right, this if he has dropped it, it could be absolutely anywhere. Because he jumped. Oh, you not go away, actually. I'm not using that. Ow, that was rude. Yeah, your helmet's off now, boy. Get all them down there. He jumped, didn't he? So it could be down there, but it's not. And it could be up here. Nope, that's where he died, I think. And that's all he dropped. Right, let's grab this. I'm not even going to bother with you. And let's pick up this. And let's pick up this. And then we'll head on out for our final run today. Just absolutely loving this series as well right now. Really, really loving it. I hope you guys are as well. Seems to be a lot of people really liking this actually. And uh, one thing I did enjoy as well was putting together that little highlights video. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, it was just after episode 10. Uh, before episode 11, obviously, I, I released episode 1 to 10 highlights video. Um, that just brought the whole 10 
first ten episodes together into one little uh, thing. I, at the start of each clip where it was a new episode, I just edited in, you know, episode one, episode two, episode three. But just to go back and just watch the highlights of uh, drops happening and finding things in chests in the armory and stuff like that, ticking it off the list. I just had a smile on my face for the whole time I was doing it, and I just, I do love just farming. It's, it's, it's a weird concept. But I do like doing it, so that's why I love this series so much at the minute as well. Right, we'll get the Fatale out first as usual. We'll let them fight. We'll take down a... Uh... Any boils are out? Come on. There we go. Right, you're not going to like this last one, well, but... Die, Mofo! Oh, I think he's dead. But he's not as soon about to be. Right, nothing from Claplick again. Raving badass foil. I don't know if we killed Glaslo or not, but. I don't want to waste all my teeth for us, all ammo, but. He was going to take a long time to get down. Did we kill Laszlo? No, we didn't. Damn it. Right. You, give me Tombstone. You give me Tombstone. You give me Tombstone. Laszlo. Is that him? Is, is quick for Tombstone wears off? That's worn off. Let's crush him. No, he's there still. Wow, he's a beast, isn't he? No ammo. Well, it's just all oh, no ammo, great. <coughs> you ain't getting away from me, son. You are not getting away from me. I want that free easy. I don't think I'm going to get it. There was a bit of loot blue everywhere, then he dropped a lot, but I don't think he dropped the blue. He didn't, he just dropped the white. Well, that is fair enough. Okay, so let's go out then and uh, let's do our vendor farm. Well, no, that's not worked out quite well time-wise. That's 22 minutes into the episode, actually. So I think it'll take us about four or five minutes to uh, to get all the vending machines. So it's not that short of an episode, really. Oh, if we can find one of these... Uh one of these new uniques, that'd be really handy, but you never know, we could get another legendary here, the way our luck's going at the minute. Right, let's head on back to Lunar Launching Fast Travel, and then we'll start from the end and go backwards, I think. I'd like to uh, leave it in Sanctuary. Sorry, Concordia, Sanctuary. Don't know why I said Sanctuary then, it's been a while since I went on Borderlands 2. When I say a while, it's about four days, but that's a while to me. Right, straight to subconscious, and then we'll work backwards. Well, that's that. I'm sure it wasn't important. Friends always look out for one another. Wrong way, Messiah. Wrong way. Come on then, be good to us. Not good to us. Uh, Nexus next. Right, we'll go this way this time. Opposite way around. A lot of blue class mods coming up in these vendors lately. Guns, glorious mm. guns. Purple rocket launcher. <laughs> nope, nothing in uh, Nexus then. Hi Jack. You ugly git. Uh, deck 13. Let's oh, get that ball. Nope. Nexus. 
Why am no? You have just realised. Sat there, I was like, why does that sound familiar? We've just been there, Holodome. I'm going backwards, idiot. Boom. Hello, right. sanctuary. Hello, sanctuary. That's weird seeing Axton. First Come on, be good to us. And then she's like, don't kill us. the other vault hunters. Bring back the one chick you found. Woo is uh, coming. Ooh, where are we now? Elysia is where we want to be. You can no. Well, I should really check that, but I know it's not one of them. But the Don't presume. Tycho, yeah, Tycho's ribs. Definitely worth doing though, as boring as this might seem, it's definitely worth doing, as you've seen now in two episodes straight. Easy pickups. Um, I'm lost. No, Virago, I do want to go to Virago. Not looking good at the minute, but we're only about halfway. No, not Luna, not Jax. Research and development. Greetings. No. I'm not being greedy, but please give me one. What we're doing next episode then while we're here, I think we should stay in the pre-sequel for just a little bit longer, maybe two more episodes. Uh, there's a lot more to do in Boardlands 2 uh, than the pre-sequel, but there's a lot more multi-boss routes where we can, um, like the dust's got five bosses in it, you know, there's not a lot in Boardlands, there's one boss per level normally, and maybe two in some certain cases. So uh, I want to try and, you know, keep it as balanced as possible. Um, but you look at, yeah, you look at, um, like, the armory farming. You can, you can kick 12 things off an episode in the armory. So uh, that's why I try and do one of them every 5, 10 runs. And then in between, do some proper farming on these. So I think we should just stay in the pre-sequel for a little bit longer. Uh, one or two more episodes. I might go to... Um, back to Veins of Helios to try and get Laszlo and uh, Claplet to do their drops. Might go back to Pity's, um, not Pity's Fall, might go back to um, Stanton's liver to uh, get the, the disgusting talk, uh, sorry, talk and um, Rooster Booster, because we did that last episode but we didn't manage to get anything to drop. And then we might head back to uh, to Boardlands 2, or we could even go to Boardlands 1 and start doing some uh, unique farming, because there's a lot of uniques in Boardlands 1, and they're actually a lot harder to get, to drop, than Boardlands 2 and pre-sequel. Boardlands 2 and pre-sequel, the unique blue uh, red text weapons, I find you can get to drop in one or two runs, most of them. Most of them, that is. Um, but in Boardlands 1, Uniques can take like 10, 15 runs sometimes. I remember farming Scar, I think, in uh, for, in an episode for something I did. Um, and it was like 20 odd runs just for a unique red text weapon. I was like, this ain't no legendary bitch, but yeah, he treated it as one. So uh, yeah, there could be some time spent there for sure. We'll see though, like I said, one or two more episodes in pre-sequel, and then uh, we'll probably head on head on back to uh, maybe Borderlands 2 for an episode, and then Borderlands 1, and it might be our armory farming time again, because I do love armory farming, and we need to get those pearls. Right, just Concordia to go then. If we've got nothing, then fair enough, and this couldn't have worked out better actually, because we're currently on 29 minutes 18 seconds, which is pretty swagalicious. <laughs> and I can't believe I just used the word swagalicious, but <laughs> seemed fitting at the time. 
Uh, let's go this way this time. When you think no. Is that the time? Don't die before you pay. Right, we've got about four vendors left. No, seven, I think. Actually, if you if we're going through to the Triton Flats area. Welcome to my humble shop. Might need to. See you soon. Might need to when you got two more weapons vendors. Oh my god. Is that a thingy? It is a thingy. Um. Might have a problem here though. That is 45 million. And I've got three. I'll never get that. I will never ever get that. Even by selling all of these. I need to get myself some more money. I mean, technically, this is the hunt. Which is hunting for things. And I found it. But... I can't buy it, so what's the point? And I can't exit out to give myself... Uh, more money on the save editor because then the drop will go so I'm pretty much stuck here and I really wouldn't I wouldn't mind not farming the Archera but I did make the rule if I don't physically have it in my hand Damn it, I was hoping there'd be full of legendary weapons in there and I could sell them all. Oh, I'm tempted to call a vote here. But, I think I might just overrule myself and say, no, it's your fecking fault for not carrying 45 million on you. So, rip. No, do you know what? I'm going to be harsh on myself. I'm going to be harsh on myself. We have took advantage of the vending machines at the beginning of the episode. If I ain't got 45 million to spend, I ain't buying it. But just for reference, guys, we have found a thingy. It's just not able to be crossed off the list. Yep, decided. Rip. Next episode, I'm going to go get myself a load more money, though, just in case that happens again. But anyway, guys, that is another episode of The Hunt. Anyway, really hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I think that's episode 14 now. So, uh, what did we get in this episode? We got a Carla, uh, Kala, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it, right at the beginning of the episode, um, uh, from a vending machine, and then we went and got ourselves a blowfly from Egghood. So, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, we'll spend one or two more episodes in the pre-sequel for sure, uh, and then after that. We'll head on out and uh, just try and balance the episodes out a little bit. Might do a bit of hybrid Borderlands one and two farming actually, where we can, uh, where we can just you know get one or two, one thing from Borderlands one, one thing from Borderlands two, instead of spending whole episodes in the same place. But we'll see anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Really hope you've enjoyed another episode, and I will see you guys in the next one.